Lead Street, the fourth stanza. The third sheep drove towards the north. Over the sea, the darkening sea. Now, like a darkening sea, that is significant. Such a the sea cannot be dark. The sky can be dark by the cloud, suggesting impending strong storm. Right? Oh. ताहले तार छा छाया टाइ जोलर ऊपर पोच्चे, but no breath of wind. इखने breath of wind को अथर एक टू अंडरलाइन कर रखो. Came forth and the dates shone frosty. Hmm. Dates shone frostily. ये जगह टा कंडरलाइन कर रखो. I'm coming to the summary. The, the, the third sheep is inferred as the north sheep. The third sheep is inferred as the north sheep. The third sheep is inferred as the north sheep. The third sheep is inferred as the north sheep. The third sheep is inferred as the north sheep. The third sheep is inferred as the north sheep. The third sheep is the third ship is inferred as a north ship since it drove towards the north very naturally. The north ship was susceptible to unfortunate weather condition. Air weather condition could be cut up. Air ketra. Weather condition be shown kara. For sailing, the sea is described as a as darkening. Ami to madhe underline korte bolle chilam. Darkening kano na? As a shadow of the black cloud was reflected on the sea, indicating tumult and charm. Money? Not very peaceful thing. Hmm. Absolute absence of wind has been mentioned. What a how I mean, I mean, I'm going to ask you. Breathe of wind? Achha. So, I can't. The decks were full of frost. Frost is not a very good thing in European countries. It indicates pessimism. Jodi jome jai, jodi iceberg thake, shomutre, tahale jaha jago pe ki kori. So the decks were full of frost, which made them look glistening. Chok chok e dakhatche, shiny dakhatche. Now I'm coming to the portion of the word notes. Decks mene tamra jano cartridge bata to wooden structures shown past of shine mene dazzle. Critical commentary is the The North Ship was in an uncompromising position to move forward. The sky was the sky was full of cloud, which is an outcry for impending calamity. Before the Shonku, at the Ingit Beach, Akashir Lake, the decks were covered with snow and that reflected the upcoming despair. Ami Bolam, it is not a very good thing in European countries. Ebong Etekinto, Hotashake symbolized. 
In this stanza, we again came across the element of personification in the phrase breath of wind. Breath of wind maniki. We can win breath. Wind is an inanimate object. It is a figure of speech and it indicates personification. Wind cannot breathe. It is a human virtue, right? So, here the human quality of breathing has been imposed here. Last day, did I mean to say that? Frost is a symbol of depression and it has been used here very appropriately. Let's read stanza 5. The northern sky rose high and black over the proud and fruitful sea. East and west the ships came back happily and unhappily. The summary to Porchi, the trial and tribulation prevailed over the North Sea. The adverse situation continued as the sky remained black, indicative of storm. Black is a color of depression also. Black is a color of boldness. Black is a color of death. The sea has been described appropriately as proud. Proud maniki. It is acting on its own dreams. Nijer khayal kushi matu kaj kuchche. Evang taimi the garbage shishti. It is also described by the poet as untruthful. Untruthful maniki? Unproductive. Ota shifta ke, okay shifta ke ego te ditche na? O ego te ditche na? This is because, ete hi bala achha dakho? It is because it is unproductive in helping the sheep in moving forward. The delineation of the north sheep alters for a while into the first and the second ships that sailed east and west. Tahale north ship description thamiye odha eto break at jonno in ba comparison e jonno bolte baro poet to move kore gache ye ships gulo visit kore chilo west ba east tara kintu phire esheche either happily or unhappily in, in a certain mental state. Kintu, ta fire eshe chhe. But the North Ship was quite determined to continue its journey in spite of the calamities and impending bad weather. Now come to the word, word notes. Now let's come to the word notes. Rose, as you know, pass from a prize, an ascent, uchu hai jao. Proud, first form of pride, ego. Unfruitful, mani unproductive, unfit to use. Kono kaji ascent. Critical comment. The atmospheric situation continued to be adverse for the north ship to proceed. So, proceed to the north ship to proceed. And the cast can still be done. Because the situation is very difficult. The north ship is not going to be done. But the north ship is not going Again, we can see the use of personification when the sea is described as proud. Uh, the use of negative adjectives like proud and unfruitful are very appropriate. The two ships came back though in different states of mind but the north ship determined to continue its journey. 
এখানে দুটো শিপের সঙ্গে নর্থ শিপটা ডিফারেন্স যে ও কিছুটি থামবে না ও এখানে কোথাও আমরা যেটা ডিকোড করি ভালো করে পোয়েমটাকে সুপারফিশিয়াল লেভেলে নয় কোনেটেটিভ লেভেলে তাহলে আমরা দেখব যে এখানে সিটা কোথাও ডিনোট করছে আর দ্য অ্যাডভার্স ওয়েদারটা কোথাও ডিনোট করছে কিন্তু অ্যাসপিরেশনটাকে করতে গেলে স্বাভাবিকভাবে বাধা আসছে কিন্তু সেই বাধাতে ভয় পেলে চলবে না এবং নরশিপ কিন্তু এগিয়ে চলছে এই নিয়ে আমরা পরে ডিসকাস করব ইন ডিটেল ইট মে অলসো সাজেস্ট অথরিটেটিভ সরি দেয়ার ইজ এ কালার সাজেশন ব্ল্যাক ব্ল্যাকের কথাটা আগেই বললাম হুইচ এক্সপ্রেস ইট ডেথ বোল্ডনেস ডিপ্রেশন ইট মে অলসো সাজেস্ট অথরিটেটিভ অ্যান্ড বিং বোল্ড বলেই দিলাম আমরা চলে এসেছি পোয়েমের একদম শেষের ভাগে স্ট্যান্ডার্ড সিক্স বাট দ্য থার্ড ওয়েন্ট wide and far into an unforgiving sea under a fire-spilling star and it was rigged for a long journey ehi sheshir che stanza tak ito vishon bhabe important ebang vishon bhabe tatparja purno কারণটা বলছি যে ইন্সপাইট অফ দ্য ডিফিকাল্টিস দ্য থার্ড শিপ কন্টিনিউস ইটস জার্নি উইদাউট ইন্টারাপশন এরকম নয় যে ইন্টারাপশন নয় মানে কিন্তু এই নয় যে বাধা বিঘ্ন আসছে না বাধা বিঘ্ন আসছে বা ডিটারমিনেশনটা এখন ইন্টারাপশন নেই কোথায় যাচ্ছে না ইন্টু অ্যান আনফর গিভিং ভীষণ ভাবে বললাম না তো সিও কিন্তু এখানে ভীষণভাবে অথরিটেটিভ ওর কথা যে শুনবে না ও তাকে কোনোভাবেই তার সঙ্গে কম্প্রোমাইজেশনে আসবে না যেটা করছে নরশিপের সঙ্গে বাট নরশিপেরও সেই পেশেন্সটা রয়েছে এবং ও কিন্তু এগিয়ে যাওয়া সেই ধৈর্যটা রাখছে এখানে দেখো এই এই লাইনটা এই বেটার টু সে এই ফ্রেজটা একটুখানি আন্ডারলাইন করো আন্ডার আ ফায়ার স্পিলিং স্টার ফায়ার স্পিলিং স্টার মানে কি স্টার তো আমরা জানি যে আ সিম্বল অফ হোপ তাই তো কিন্তু সেখান থেকে আগুন বর্ষাচ্ছে যখন স্টার থেকে আগুন বর্ষাচ্ছে তার মানে ইট ইন্ডিকেট সামথিং ভেরি ডেঞ্জারাস সামথিং দ্যাট ইজ non negotiable and it was rigged for a long journey about the the repetition of the same word the repetition of the same phrase and it was rigged for a long journey here it is quite clear that the poet is speaking of the third ship that is the north ship let's read the summary in spite of hurdles the north ship in a slow but steady manner continued its journey wide and far the sea was unforgiving it was uncompromising as the north ship dared to move forward ও সাহসটা দেখিয়েছে 
the fire spirit star is also connotative of adversity the star is basically the guiding force but the word fire indicates that the journey is perilous still the sheep was meant for a long journey the sheep had its mental preparation to conduct a long journey whatever and however the situation might be ami word note e chole jacchi unforgiving unmerciful spilling pouring critical comment e chole jacchi ebar the expression of the north ship is much greater than its two counterparts counterparts mane ki shongi bolte par dutu ar dujon jara chilo who are they the two ships that move towards west and east right that is two ships set out for east and west in midst of uncompromising weather the north ship continued its journey the repetition of the phrase the ship was quote and quote was wait for long journey reflected its indomitable spirit to succumb to the vulnerable atmosphere 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 to motive bhalo nai still the ship was determined not to give up the personification is again observed in the phrase and forgiving see ami jeta bolla since forgiveness is a human virtue the fire pillar star the fire pillar star is suggestive of hazardous condition chamela oshubida the repetition of the phrase great for long journey put emphasis on determination of the north ship to carry on the journey even in uncompromising weather condition dekho eta amra puro puri eta denotative meaning superficial meaning add korlam er eta connotative meaning o ache but allegorical eta significance o royeche seta amra ajke discuss korbo na আমরা আরেকটা সেশন নেব এর জন্য এবং ওই ডিনোটিভ অ্যান্ড কোনোটিভ মিনিংয়ের সঙ্গে সঙ্গে আমি কিছু কোয়েশ্চেন্স মানে কিছু মডেল মডেল কোয়েশ্চেন্স একটু ডিসকাস করে দেব অ্যান্ড আই উইল অ্যাসাই নিউ সাম হোমওয়ার্কস ওয়েন দ্য স্কুল উইল ওপেন ইউ উইল শো মি দ্যাট হোমওয়ার্ক ওকে থ্যাংক ইউ স্টেবল স্টেবলেস্ট বাই